I think transhumanists are conquering death right now. If you talk to Aubrey de Grey, he's a life extension scientist and he's currently working to end aging. If we pursue anti-aging and genetics and that if we pursue robotics that we're going to find a way to not have to die, we're going to find a way to not have to go through aging anymore. Now those folks are embracing, you know, science or in some cases pseudoscience and science fiction in an effort to advance to a higher state. And you know, I think broadly those are people we call part of the transhumanist movement. Immortality is ultimately their goal. Immortality is very exciting. A lot of people will just associate it with sci-fi, but it's actually something that people are working on now. And by altering our own genetics and by altering our own neurochemistry, we're going to be able to end aging and we're going to be able to end this process that makes people grow older. We are conquering death as we speak. People are looking to become immortal and we're on the way right now. The Bible has a lot to say about immortality. We can create uh, all kinds of, you know, ingenuity that allows people who otherwise might not be able to speak, might not be able to walk, may not have any control over their hands, um, to be able to use robotic assistance to travel, to speak, to interact in society. I'm all for that. I think it's a good thing. And healing uh, started with the church. We're the first ones who made crutches and wheelchairs and things like that because we believed that as part of our Christian ethos, uh, it was our responsibility to provide healing, to feed the sick and all those things. On the genetic engineering side of it, I think we run into problems fairly quickly. And even among Christian um, ethicists, um, there are those who would allow genetic alteration to a point and not pass a certain point. There are people like me who believe that if we're talking about genetic alteration in the sense of improved forms of medicine. I, if I had cancer, I'd much rather hope that a doctor could throw a genetic switch and turn the tumor off than to have to go through uh, radiation therapy, which is simply trying to accomplish exactly the same thing. It's trying to kill the bad genetics and let the good genetics uh, heal themselves. But if the cure then requires altering what it means to be a human, either by adding synthetic forms of life that, it, that, are, that are not natural or animal forms of life, then it starts becoming a real problem, uh, in my opinion.